Hello viewers, so it's episode 2 of Daily Revs. I can't see Daily Revs right now because all the, all the events are happening in the, uh, between, uh, happen between last week and this week uh, uh, have to be up to speed. So first we go to the UK, and as you can see, the UK last week, uh, not in recent months, has changed their minds about a good initiative they will be planning to implement completely by 2050. So the plan by the, in their plan by 2050, every single car in the UK would be uh, would be all electric, would be green. Now, they plan to ban um, they plan to ban all uh, cars that use uh, uh, petroleum products, uh, petrol and diesel by 2040. But however, in recent times, they brought up they brought the timeline for that ban closer from 2040 to 2030, which is very close by considering, uh, considering all things we need to It's quite close, it's quite close. 10 years for such an enormous feat is quite close. So they plan to ban all cars that use petrol and diesel by 2030. And um, continuing that, suddenly switching from um, petro uh, petroleum products to uh, alternatives is quite is, it will be quite a shock to the system. So within these ten years, they plan to find ways to uh, bridge that bridge that energy to close other energy that energy vacuum that uh, petrol and diesel used to use to fill. So in those ways, they plan to find alternatives for uh, their energy supply. So looking at this BBC uh, the BBC website, they plan to tackle. Um, and they plan to tackle global warming and all this global warming, uh, energy security, uh, pollution, and all those. They plan to make uh, to quadruple their offshore wind wind farms, uh, implement uh, alternative energy sources like offshore wind farms, uh, use um, hydrogen, which is an alternative form of fuel. You can actually use hydrogen to power your car, and the only the the only way that you get is water. Because you're burning hydrogen, H2O, and now they're pushing to make nuclear power more popular, which is a clean energy source. Because it doesn't keep, and nuclear energy itself doesn't really leave anything. But the main problem is the fuel rods you use to uh, to make nuclear energy. Those are the problems. Um, yes, the um, electric vehicle uh, issue that I'm talking about, and they plan to make public transport cycling and walking. <laughs> Together. Cycling and walking more popular. Uh, they plan to research into making uh, air flights or um, making air flights green. Maybe. I don't know how, how how they will, but maybe they'll try and make uh, airplanes or electric. They are plan to make uh, airplanes all electric. Yes, it's still under development and things. Um, yeah, that's basically it. But then it would be a big shot. It would be a big. Uh, it will send reports throughout the car industry in the UK because um, the UK the UK has a lot of quite a number of uh, car producers for for Jaguar and for Jaguar and Land Rover I think they moved their production over to India or something I not I think they still have production plants in, in the UK but I think they also have production plants in, in India too. Um, I'm, so if I'm wrong, just sit in the comments below. But anyway, uh, this is this is what's happening so far. I'll keep you up to date with any uh, additional uh, additional happenings because it's 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 something that is going to ripple across not just the UK but across the world. Because um, um, after you might not know this scandal, but there's a, there's an issue, there's a there's this incident called the diesel gate scandal where VW. Um, had an issue with its test, um, its uh, polluting test of some of these car models. They put self-defeating devices in the car models, whereby it was producing, it was uh, giving us lower, lower values of pollu uh, pollutants, uh, pollutants for the car than it actually was, and it's it's a big scandal because it kind of taints the uh, VW's image as them trying to fight global warming. Because if you're going to put devices that lower the amount that give out output that are not correct with respect to the test you're making, it puts your name it puts your name in doubt. So out of that, uh, VW publicly announced that they'll be changing in sometimes they'll be changing they'll be leaving IC engines, internal combustion engines to, to 
fewer electric cars. So it's gradually considering that VW is a big is a big player in the auto industry, it's going to ripple out. But if VW manages to capture, if VW takes the lead, all the other companies will take the lead. And right now, if electric cars, their global sales are not that much, but eventually with projected projected numbers, it will, it will reach a critical number very soon. Not in not anytime soon, but in, in, in future. So enough of that. It's geopolitics and other things. But I should keep an eye out for VW because what they have started switching to their cars to electric. Just like their Raven is there, um, all the other companies, and they're coming with such intense with such momentum that uh, it's going to change the world of automotive so far. We the ICE boys, the AJ boys, we will hold out as long as we can, but eventually change is coming. EV is coming. EV is coming. So, in another case of electric cars, Tesla, Tesla's Model X has, uh, a security analyst has found a way to hack into the Model X, um, Model X uh, key flop, key flop, and Allowing it to you to hack into the car and basically steal, uh, steal the Tesla in a few minutes. He didn't really say what he did because obviously for security purposes he sent the details of what he did to Tesla themselves and then they actually said they will repair the fix in an over the air over the air update. Very few, very few companies do that uh, over the air. But to work. Anyway, Tesla is just one of the three. So, so he basically found a way using um, using equipment, equipment that just that just amounts to about three hundred dollars. Considering the fact that you just buy three hundred dollars, you just a model X and steal and you make make more than enough money back if you should if you should, if you should be a team. But he found a way to duplicate to um, to duplicate. The signal from the key fob. So you can actually read this. Because, uh, okay, let me see if I can read a, a bit of it. So, uh, so let them just look at this. To steal the Model X in a few minutes requires exploitation of two vulnerabilities. Uh, Walter said. Walter started with the hardware kit, costing roughly $300. That's it in his backpack. And includes a Raspberry Pi low cost computer and, model, and the Model X body control module, which you purchase on eBay. So you can easily get these things. Raspberry Pis are not, Raspberry Pis, I think, are about 500 to 600 Ghana series. I think they are 100 pounds, 700 or 700 Ghana series. You can buy the uh, VCM off eBay and this kit, but well, there are a few Model Xs in Ghana, so uh, probably we found very good. So he can he can uh, look at the signal that the key fob uh, the, the the car's key fob makes and then go and get into the car and then use the car's CAN system, which is a con controller area network, and then to to fool the car into thinking the key fob is in the car and start the car and go off. So you can you can read the story yourself. I don't want to get into detail. I just will take my time. And yeah. But uh, considering some of the other things I've seen, it's nowadays with respect to the way uh, cars are you know, getting more and more advanced, it, people find ways to uh, get past cars which is to the cars. There's actually a guy who managed to remotely control a car. It's, it's, it's on YouTube, I think it's, it's, it was a number of years back, but he managed to uh, pack it to a car and control it to the end. It's amazing. So all of these stories will be in the description below. You can check them out for yourself. Yeah. yeah. And in another EV is coming story, McLaren uh, Artura is is the name of a new V6 hybrid supercar. So this isn't the first supercar to have uh, to be a hybrid. The Porsche Porsche 918 also features a hybrid system, which is the car is amazing. So I was watching the I was watching the uh, the cars review on Top Gear some years back when went all the when a big press on the, on the page and it's it's a really an amazing car. It's really an amazing car. It's kind of like uh, a bridge between the old and the new uh, ICEs and uh, uh, and uh, electric cars. It's an amazing car. So McLaren is introducing the new Altura, Altura, which. Which has a V6, V6 engine alongside uh, all full electric driving mode. It's literally, it's literally released on the first half of 2021. 
and people just watch the the video is just 20 seconds. Uh, so <laughs> Okay, so that was the Altura for you. And I think this is a body. This is, a, this is this is it with the the camouflage. Looks good. Looks really good. Anyway, and I think yeah, I think that's all for now. So oh, this is a, this is the Porsche 918 Spider. And anyway, uh. Oh, your one more story. So, Porsche, 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 Porsche has uh, written his name in a Guinness Book of Record in a rubber burning style by drifting. Uh, it's all electric. Uh, the Porsche Taycan in a continuous drift for how long was it? For forty-two kilometers, and it took them 50, uh, fifty-five minutes. No surprise there to complete this this task. Let me see. It's all electric. So, you can put this on it. Okay, yes. Oh, wow. So now the charging right now. Uh, we need to make see you. So, okay, let's go. Oh, I can imagine sitting down there for 50, 55 minutes just watching someone drink the car. Uh, I'd rather be in a car. <laughs> anyway, so that's that's it. <laughs> quite the way to quite the way to make it. But yeah, that's that's it. Uh, yeah, and now Chrome is so that's it uh, for daily reps. Um, we're bringing more videos. So, uh, more videos, more videos, more videos, more videos. So stick and stay. Yeah.